graph shows a journey of a train from London to Peterborough. It says London's here, Peterborough's here. And it makes a stop at Stevenage. That makes a stop here. So this is obviously Stevenage there. So I'll put it on my diagram. It might help me later. I always like labor, uh, annotating diagrams. Use a graph to answer these questions. What times arrive in Stevenage? Well, it stops at Stevenage, so it arrives at that time there. Just always check the scale. That's 30, it goes up 15 minutes, so it's going to be 5 minutes a square. So that'll be 0.935. And you want to leave the time in the way that it, they write it here. Work out the average speed of the train between Stevenage and Peterborough. Well, Stevenage is here, Peterborough is here. So this distance, it goes from 85, from 30 all the way up to 85. So that's 85 minus 30, which equals 55 miles and how long does it take each one's five so five well i know it doesn't it leaves here not from that point from here five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty in thirty minutes we do know that speed is distance over time but actually in this case here 30 i'd have to change that to a fraction i'd be dividing a distance by a fraction which i don't really like so it's much easier to think of it as 55 miles in 30 minutes well how far is it going to go in one hour that'll obviously be 110 miles in one hour and that's what the speed is is 110 miles per hour so the answer is 110. If you'd done it this way, you'd have had to have done 55 divided by a half because it's half an hour and we need the time in the, the speed in miles per hour. When you divide by a half, it means how many halves fit into 55? Well, obviously two fit into one. And so every one of these two halves will fit into. So in essence, we have to double that, which is 110. But it's actually harder like that than it is in terms like this. And that's question 19 done.